These animals have evolved colorful traits to make them look as intimidating and as scary as possible to potential predators. And they look absolutely stunning. So here are 15 of the most colorful animals and insects on Earth. Number 15, Peacock Spider. Apart from always looking like they're incredibly pleased to see you and are apparently opening their arms to invite you in for a hug, the peacock spider would deserve its place on this list of colorful creatures even if it didn't appear to be extremely friendly. And by the way, it's probably best not to give it a hug. It's very small and you wouldn't want to crush it. It is the male peacock spiders that are the most colorful, mainly due to the multicolored patterns on their upper abdomen, not to mention the flap and bristles they proudly choose to display during the courtship process. This friendly looking spider is merely trying to get some action. Sorry, I know rejection is difficult. Number 14, Waddle Cup Caterpillar. The color scheme of the Waddle Cup Caterpillar looks like a pattern you'd expect to see on a tie-dyed t-shirt. So if you do come across one in the wild, then you might start wondering what you've been smoking. In fact, it might even be busy smoking something itself and invite you to join in. Like that other caterpillar from Alice in Wonderland. The wattle cup is mainly found in northern Australia, and although the moth it eventually turns into has an uninspiring brown body with equally dull brown wings, the caterpillar is a bouquet of color. Bright yellow with blue and orange patterns, they're certainly beautiful creatures, but you should never judge a book by its cover, and despite being beautiful, life isn't exactly a ball for these guys. I mean, they can't even walk. You see, the Waddle Cup Caterpillar has reduced legs, and it's forced to move around like a slug using the underside of its body. It is possibly because of this that they can have a little bit of a temper, hence their extremely potent sting, which has been described as worse than three wasp stings. Yikes. Probably best to keep on their good side then. Number 13. Mantis Shrimp Could anything look more alien than this little guy? If you found one of these in your garden, then you'd probably be thinking less about how beautiful its colors were and more about how different life will be now that we've been invaded by tiny intergalactic travelers. Well, also known as Harlequin Mantis Shrimps, Painted Mantis Shrimps, Clown Mantis Shrimp, or Rainbow Mantis Shrimp, this creature clearly has more names than a man with a wallet full of fake IDs. But even if you aren't fully aware of what to call it, there's no doubting what it is as soon as you see one. This mantis shrimp has a strange Jekyll and Hyde kind of existence, with people in the marine aquarium trade adoring it for its beautiful colors, while at the same time considering it to be a dangerous pest. Talk about mixed signals. You either love this little guy or you don't. Native to the epipelagic seabed across the Indo-Pacific, these shrimps are certainly eye-catching, being primarily green with their orange legs and leopard-like spots. They definitely deserve their place on our list, even if they do seem to split opinion amongst those fickle marine biologists. Number 12, Blue Ringed Octopus. The Blue Ringed Octopus basically does exactly what it says on the tin. It's an octopus, and it has blue rings all over it. But even so, it's an incredible looking creature, although you might not want to examine it too closely, as it's also one of the world's most venomous marine animals. Blue ringed octopuses are found in tide pools and coral reefs in the Pacific and Indian Oceans, from Japan to Australia, and survive on a diet of crabs, shrimp, and other crustaceans. Although you'd think that with their yellow skins and their blue black rings that consistently change color, you might be able to spot them coming a mile away. Hopefully, as a human being, you're able to do just that, because they have no problem attacking us if provoked, and their venom contains the powerful neurotoxin tetrodotoxin, which isn't at all good for us folks who like to walk around on two legs, hug our friends and relatives, and make nasty comments on YouTube. Beautiful but deadly. Luckily, they tend to be very docile, so whatever you do, don't pick one up. It's an octopus, not a smartphone. Number 11, Mandrill. These impressive creatures not only have one of the most colorful faces and colorful backsides known to man, but must also be one of the most terrifying looking animals in the world when they're upset about something. I mean, just look at this thing. Isn't that facial expression alone enough to make you completely lose control of your bodily functions? It's like something you'd expect to find in the ninth circle of hell. With its red nose, blue face, and orangey amber eyes, the mandrill is certainly a colorful creature. And despite being more than capable of ripping your face off, it actually follows an omnivorous diet consisting mainly of fruits and insects. 
Mandrills are mostly found in tropical rainforests in places such as southern Cameroon, Equatorial Guinea, or the Republic of the Congo. They tend to move in large groups, so if one of them isn't terrifying enough for you, imagine a whole gang of them with that same look on their faces. Mandrills are actually the world's largest monkeys, and although they superficially resemble baboons, they are more closely related to mangabays of the genus Circocebus. But biological jargon aside, two things are clear. They're colorful and they're terrifying. Number 10, Gouldian Finch. Is it just me or does the Gouldian Finch look good enough to eat? I don't mean that in a carnivorous way, but you kind of get the feeling that it might taste just like a bag of Skittles. Also known as the Lady Gouldian Finch, Gould's Finch or the Rainbow Finch, this little guy is native to Australia and adorned with a variety of black, green, yellow, and red markings. Well, the males are at least. The male you see has much more vibrant purple on his chest, whereas the female tends to be a lighter mauve. The females are less brightly colored generally, although there are a number of colored variants that exist in the wild, although with a variety of mutations due to selective breeding. In other words, these finches aren't adverse to a spot of romance. It must be like a permanent summer of love for these guys, just sex, drugs, rock and roll all day long. Well, except for the drugs, of course, and the rock and roll. Number nine. Mandarin fish. The mandarin fish is another creature that looks like it could have come straight from the late 1960s. I mean, think about it. You have the Beatles, Jimi Hendrix, the Mamas and the Papas, and the mandarin fish. It wouldn't stick out at all. Also known as the mandarin dragonette, the mandarin fish is a small, brightly colored member of the dragonette family, native to some of the warmer waters of the Pacific Ocean. Mandarin fish are reef dwellers, often sticking to sheltered lagoons, and although they appear quite striking to us as we gaze at our screens here in YouTube land, due to their bottom feeding habit, they're generally not easily seen at all. They're also very slow moving and very small, so they're hardly gonna stick out in a crowd, especially if that crowd was at Woodstock back in 1969. As we've already mentioned, they fit in with the hippies like a hand fits in a glove. Number eight, red-eyed tree frog. Look at the vivid colors on this guy. He looks more like it was created by CGI than a genuine living, breathing creature you could find in South America. In fact, he probably wouldn't look that far out of place in a Pixar movie. The red-eyed tree frog is native to neotropical rainforests from Mexico through Central America to Colombia and is occasionally kept in captivity. With this amazing color scheme, it could pull anything off. Its vibrant green body, bright red eyes and yellow and blue stripes along its side, its red-orange feet, its white underside. You could almost use this frog to point out which shades of paint you'd like when decorating your house. The scientific name of the red-eyed tree frog, A. calidrias, comes from the Greek words kalos, meaning beautiful, and dryas, meaning tree or wood nymph, and you can see why. These frogs are most certainly beautiful, and given the sticky pads on their toes which allow them to cling onto leaves, you could be forgiven for thinking that they might be a tree nymph. Number seven, poison dart frog. There's certainly no lack of diversity in the frog world. Look at this little guy. These frogs may look as brightly colored as some varieties of candy, but it's probably best that you keep your tongue as far away from them as possible, because there's a reason they're known as the poison dart frog. And that's because their toxic secretions were genuinely used for the tips of blow darts by the Native Americans. Native to tropical Central and South America, the bright colors of the poison dart frog correlate to their toxicity. So if you think one of them looks particularly beautiful, then you may want to keep your distance. Only four of the over 170 species of poison dart frog actually have been documented as being used for poison darts, so we can only assume it was prettiest amongst those species. Yet another example of something beautiful, yet so very deadly. Number six, Indian peafowl. So we've talked about the peacock spider and the peacock mantis shrimp, so maybe it's time we said a few words about the peacock, or Indian peafowl as it's otherwise known. Now, we've all seen a peacock, even if it is just a picture of one, so there's no way we could leave this majestic bird out of our list of most colorful animals, especially when you consider that some of the entries on our list are named after it. The Indian peafowl is a native of India, where it's the national bird. It has a brightly colored crest of feathers, along with a long train of tail feathers featuring several colorful eye spots, which are raised into a fan and quivered during courtship. For such a familiar sight, the peacock's elaborate train is somewhat of a mystery. Even Charles Darwin, the father of evolution, struggled to explain what it might mean according to his theory of natural selection. 
and so later went with sexual selection as an explanation. Once again, as with so many of the colorful animals on our list, it was all about getting jiggy with it. The mysterious nature of the peacock has seen it celebrated in Hindu and Greek mythology, and unlike a lot of animals on our list, it's far from an endangered species. In fact, the International Union for Conservation of Nature has listed it as of least concern, and if that was me, I wouldn't be able to help feeling a little bit undervalued. Number 5. Keel Bill Toucan Is it still a toucan if there are only one of them? And what do you call two toucans? A four-can? All right, terrible jokes aside, we couldn't get through a list of colorful animals without mentioning this incredible looking specimen. I mean, just check out that bill. Also known as the sulfur-breasted toucan or rainbow bill toucan, this colorful bird is most often found in tropical jungles, from southern Mexico to Venezuela to Colombia, roosting in the canopies of rainforests, where it no doubt spends a large portion of its time checking out its reflection in puddles of rainwater and telling itself, you look great today. And why not? Because it does look great. Mainly black with a yellow neck and chest, green bill, blue feet, and red feathers at the tip of its tail, the keelbill toucan tends to hang around with other toucans who cram themselves into holes in the trees with a carpet of fruit pits left over from their past meals. Mm-mm, cozy. Number 4. Sunset Moth This certainly isn't the kind of moth that chomps away at your clothes when they've spent too long in the closet. And you're probably not going to see one of these flapping into your bathroom at night because you've forgotten to switch the light off. Famous worldwide, the sunset moth is very sought after by collectors, and you can see why. Although the idea of having something this beautiful being held captive, or even worse, dead, is not a pleasant thought, the sunset moth's caterpillar is pretty colorful itself. Whitish yellow with black spots and red feet, they only narrowly missed out on being in our top 15, which is a bit of a shame, because they're really worth mentioning. If only because of the silk they spin from their mouth seems to induce a euphoric high in anyone who consumes it. And so, just like the mandarin fish, we're sure it would have been very popular in the psychedelic era. Peace and love, everyone. Peace and love. And a little silk. Number 3. Scarlet Macaw Despite having the impressive talent of being able to swear at your family and friends, the Scarlet Macaw hasn't just made it onto our list because of its skills in the profanity department. And you only need to take one look at its colorful plumage to see why. Is this or is this not one seriously colorful bird? Bright red, bright yellow, bright blue, there's nothing subtle about the color scheme of this particular parrot. A member of a large group of neotropical parrots called macaws, it's generally found in humid evergreen forests from Mexico to Peru, Ecuador, Colombia, Bolivia, Venezuela, and Brazil. So, in other words, this parrot has an extremely well-used parrot passport. Despite it being relatively common around the globe, not to mention in the homes of people who have chosen to keep it as a foul-mouthed pet, it is considered endangered in some parts of the world due to the destruction of its natural habitat. Still, that hasn't prevented the Scarlet Macaw from attaining the dizzying heights of fame it has these days, even being declared the national bird of Honduras, and that's certainly nothing to curse about. Number 2. California Red-Sided Garter Snake Call me selfish, but I always prefer snakes that are easy to spot. Yeah, I know their ability to blend in with their surroundings help them to stay alive, but personally, I'd prefer to know exactly where they are at all times, and the California red-sided garter snake certainly fits the bill in that regard. A subspecies of the common garter snake, this guy must be the longest, most slithery specimen on our colorful list of creatures. But as squeamish as some of us may get at the thought of snakes, that really shouldn't diminish its obvious natural beauty. I mean, just look at those colors. Most California red-sided garter snakes are black and red, and with an overlapping pattern of blue stripes and an average length of about 22 inches. So they're not the longest snakes in the world, and surely a lot less scary for those of us bothered by their general slinkiness. And so, maybe it's worth taking a minute to put our prejudices aside and appreciate this creature for what it really is. A cute and colorful critter from California. Number 1. Rainbow Lorikeet when Cindy Lauper sang, I can see your true color shining through, she probably wasn't singing about the rainbow lorikeet. Well, she definitely wasn't, because that would have been weird. But it also would have been inaccurate, because these guys have their true colors on display 24-7. And what's more, they certainly aren't shy about flaunting their feathers for everyone to see. Most commonly found in rainforests, coastal bush, and woodland areas along the eastern seaboard of Australia. 
The rainbow lorikeet is a medium-sized parrot, and as you can see, has very colorful plumage that even Cindy Lauper might think was a bit too much after a while. The deep blue head, the orange beak, the grayish yellow collar, along with red sections of the underwings, these creatures could fly along quite happily in the middle of a pride celebration and fit in nicely with all the rainbows on display. And I'm sure that the lorikeet does feel a certain amount of pride when it catches a glimpse of itself, and not just because it made it into our top 15. After all, he's a beautiful bird, and we're saying he because once again it's the male of the species which is the most colorful. With almost as many colors as Joseph's Technicolor dream coat, he more than deserves his place on the list. The lorikeet, that is, not Joseph. Watch our Animals playlist for more Top 15 videos about animals. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best animal-related videos.